Welcome back, Minecraft Fest is here. What I have for you today is a very fun little mini game contraption that I made. Um, it's sort of, I guess you could say the Minecraft equivalent to Subway Surfers, which is an app on like the iOS slash iPhone slash iPad. Uh, all the Apple products, it's on the App Store. Um, if you if you're not familiar with it, basically this guy goes around riding across tracks, jumping over trains and stuff. I'm aware that this isn't really anything near it, but this is sort of like, I guess you could say my version of it. It's pretty fun. Um, so when I flick that lever, a bunch of armor stands are going to place a bunch of blocks along this track. These are effectively going to be obstacles, and they're currently generating right now, as you can see. And basically, what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to ride, you might have seen there's minecarts at the beginning. I'm going to be able to ride the minecarts down and swap between the minecarts quickly to try and complete the track. So let's try this. This is basically the game. It didn't take too long to build, like a uh, Saturday morning. So where would I want to start? I probably want to start in this track because it has the longest. So I just press this button. And we're off. And we could just swap between carts nice and quickly. We have a fairly easy track right here. Um, yeah, I could just, uh, yeah, that was a very easy track. That's very unusual. So in that case, I win. Um, yes, I do realize that in the real game, Subway Surfers, you cannot win. It's an infinite track. To be honest, I didn't fully base off Subway Surfers. I just wanted something that's a vaguely similar has the same sort of mechanics, dodging obstacles while you swap between many tracks. I think I've accomplished that pretty well. Let me show you um, what happens if you lose. We're going to run into this obstacle right here. And I instantly fl it instantly flashes. You died and I get teleported back here. Uh, the way that works is here's over here there's a 20 time per second redstone clock. Um, the standard one. Set block stone, set block redstone block. Um, and then it's running this. Um, execute AP test for block tilde tilde two tilde iron block. Um, now what that basically means is it's testing if there's an iron block um two above the player's main position, which is like uh where his feet are. Now interestingly, in minecarts, um. The player is actually one block lower, so you're sort of in the ground. It took me a very long time to figure that out. Uh, I sort of figured it out the hard way by sort of trying um, till day till day one. But turns out, for me, um, two blocks up is actually this level, which is really weird because it's not usually like that. But anyways, oh yeah, um, that's another problem with it. Since it, this is a constant redstone clock, and it's very hard to stop it unless you glitch out the command block like that, um, then it's sort of constantly going, and that means it's constantly detecting if there is an iron block to above you. Um, honestly, I've just been too lazy to fix that because, I mean, if I were to make it a real mini game, you wouldn't be able to go under iron like that. But anyways, um, so yeah, it's a pretty fun little contraption. Um, when I started this up, you n probably noticed there was a bit of a track generator involved, which can be seen up there. Fully automatic track generator. I'll generate a new track because that track is very boring and very easy. Um, so basically, the way this thing works is this is a jumble of commands right here and then a redstone clock. So, what it's doing is, first of all, it kills all arm stands because, uh, if you didn't notice, there are a bunch of arm stands going by and a random one of them was placing down a block under them. Um, so, in essence, what it's doing is it starts by killing all the armor stands, filling the course with air, so restarting, summoning, summoning armor stands in these four positions, here, 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 and here, or approximately, um, and then it actually starts a clock. So this is a uh, comparator clock. It's about as fast as I can make it go for this thing. Um, and what it's constantly doing, it's constantly executing at a random armor stand and setting an iron block under them. This is uh, setting an iron block under them. So this is taking advantage 
uh, because I didn't need to make my own pseudo random algorithm. I could just borrow uh, the one uh, that Mo Yang already put in, which is at R, and I'm just targeting every arm stand instead of targeting a player. Um, even though uh, under the um, console command it does say use at R to target a random player, you can also use it to target a random arm stand or a random cow or a llama or ender dragon, whatever you want. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, I accidentally typed zero. Um, and the second command over here is teleporting the arm stand three blocks ahead. So that would make it seem like it would go off into infinity, but it actually doesn't. Um, this this thing over here. It detects um um if um if the random arm stand I just used that R again um because it was detecting if the arm stand used it um if the arm stand had grass under it then there um kill all the arm stands and um. Oh, yeah, this is a little disconvenient part, partially for the player. So, when the armor stand finishes, there's blocks all the way up to here, but typically at the end of video game levels, there's a bit of leeway space at the end. So, I um, filled that area of air. Anyways, this is my uh, Minecraft quote unquote subway surfers in Minecraft game, um, or at least a decent approximation in my opinion. This is a trickier level. See if I can do this. Um, often a convenient method while doing this is uh, like. Also, if you just um, is like plotting from above, um, sometimes you accidentally place blocks. So that's why I'd recommend using an empty hand. But um, so you could like see from above. Oh, I'll go here, then s then oh maybe I'll go here, then swap over through there, and then go like that, and then. I can finish over here. Let me actually see if that would work. Uh, that's probably the method that I use quite a lot while I am playing this mini game. Let me try that. So that would be an easier swap over. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna win here. Nice. Um, this, um, you could also, uh, reprogram in the command blocks the spacing between the arm stands, I mean, between the blocks, because as you can see, there's only, um, a three block space, well, there's only technically a two block space, but, um, the arm stands teleporting three blocks to get to the next one. You would actually change that, of course, get to the very much harder, I had another player play this, and he managed to get, a, a um, to beat it with a two block cap, actually, twice in a row, which is pretty impressive. Um, but let me just go into here and change it to two blocks, just so you can see how ridiculously hard it is. I certainly recommend playing with three blocks. Um, so as you can see, it's currently generating, and when I try playing this, I'm going to die. Not too slowly, because, look at that, that's very hard. Um, I guess I could, like, go over through there, then through there. That's a hard gap to make, but it might not be too hard. Oh, it's just, a, it's a very hard track. It does take a little longer because the army stands have to go more movements. And also, I don't have a um, fully redstone clock. That sort of demonstrates the ending feature, where it actually goes onto the grass, but then uh, it sort of stops itself at the end. So let me just show you this in action, just to demonstrate how really hard it is. Press this button, and here we go. Yeah, uh, I died pretty quickly. <laughs> um, let me see if I could do that again. Okay, yeah. Um, two is very hard. Um, um, I might be releasing this as a map download, possibly, uh, because that might be pretty fun. Um, but anyways, everyone. Everyone, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.